in my personal opinion, the shoulder is completely passive. We don't need it for cello playing, except, of course, it has to be loose and as low as possible. We all sometimes raise our shoulders when we are maybe anxious about something, and that's okay if it happens, but we should at home, when we're practicing, trying to avoid it as much as we can. So again, we have a relaxed and basically either straight or in subination bow hand at the frog, and we slowly rise with our elbow, then our underarm, and we come to a pronation at the tip. And then we have the famous Rostopovich arm, let's say. The Rostopovich was famous for his very, very high elbow and upper arm. Again, he didn't use his shoulder, in my opinion. If I watch his, he was very relaxed, but he had an amazing lever at the tip, and he could produce, for example, when he would play Shostakovich concert or something. Mm -hmm. 